All right, so here's the chart with the results, and right off the bat, you can see that it doesn't look very good for Repeater. At 30 meters range, Repeater is worse against every target. Uh, keep in mind that both of these weapons had the legendary range implant, so both of their max ranges were actually 45 meters. So even at 30 meters, Repeater was already doing worse than Ember in every scenario. Now at point blank, or 5 meters, Repeater was able to outperform Ember slightly in the case of relatively low HP enemies with and without a Galvanic Hull. Both weapons lose some amount of damage to Galvanic Hull. A Repeater has a double damage chance and any shots that deal double damage, well the extra damage is absorbed by Galvanic, but Ember does rely rather heavily on the weaken effect so it takes a pretty big hit against enemies that have Galvanic. However, large HP or enemies with shield mods, even at 5 meters, Repeater does really bad against those. I would say anything that lasts longer than its initial burst damage is just going to be bad news for Repeater, because it does a pretty decent amount of damage right off the bat, but then after that its DPS is nearly zero, and it has very, very poor sustained damage. Whereas Ember, of course, just has a double tap and then a fixed reload of one and a half seconds, which is really short, and then a double tap and you just keep doing that over and over again. The damage is very consistent, and you could also see the damage lost at range was basically nothing, only taking 0.1 seconds longer for Eclipse and Lay Swing with the perimeter and blockade multilayer mods. Now, Repeater on the outset is theoretically valuable. It has a pretty decent burst damage, it has a very short reload, and the shot spread can deal that damage to multiple targets at the same time. So in theory it actually doesn't seem that bad, but in practice it just doesn't fit any of the mechs that you want any of these weapons with. It does not have the adequate range for mechs like Redeemer and Guardian. It does not have the potential for sustained damage for mechs like Vortex, Bastion, and Eclipse, and it does not have the general DPS for mechs like Surge or Zephyr. The only mechs I would say are sort of decent with Repeater would be Seeker, Deathwalker, and surprisingly Tengu. But even still, it lacks a bit of sustained damage for Seeker. You run out of damage within like two, maybe three seconds, and then you still have two or three seconds left of your ability before you teleport back, during which you have basically no DPS, and that's not good. You lack range for Deathwalker. Uh, Deathwalker with close quarters weapons is kind of a gamble. You do usually want some amount of range on it so you can guarantee that you deal some damage before getting teleported back. And you lack some amount of damage for Tengu, especially considering you'd be stuck with the 8s at best, so you're not going to be able to deal a ton of damage very quickly, even if the general weapon mechanics do fit the mech very nicely. So I have to say, as the weapon is right now, I would not recommend buying Repeater with the intention of using it for a very long time. If you want to get it, sure. Uh, actually, I hear that it's pretty good in rather low SP ranges, and that kind of makes sense. But in general, Ember Gun is not only better, but also cheaper. Of course, you can use whatever you want. If you think it's fun, then fair enough. I think Repeater's pretty fun as well. But if you're looking for good performance, then unfortunately, Repeater is just not it. You could get the ones that only cost credits just for the sake of, like, your hub progression. doesn't really matter. But in general, this thing really needs a buff, honestly. If it were up to me to buff it, I would probably choose an increased mag size or at least a mag size implant with maybe a 10% damage increase on top of that. And if you increase the damage by too much then it might become kind of OP in the lower SP ranges so I would say the best option is probably to increase the mag size but that of course is just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think of this weapon in the comments. If you're currently using it let me know what you're using it on otherwise that will be it for me. Appreciate y'all. Take care.